Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 43. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Recaro 200 horsepower runoff. We got five races to do and we're taking the Mini Cooper 03. Uh, this is an E-Class vehicle. Uh, starting off with Sakuba, Sunset Peninsula, Sedona Raceway, New York, and then finishing off with Circuit de Catalunya. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Ugh, tired. So uh, today was fun. I have edited many videos. What I normally do um, is after the Forza streams, typically I'll edit the videos at night um, pretty much immediately afterwards render them overnight so if it takes two hours it takes two hours if it takes ten it takes ten whatever render them overnight so that once it's once I wake up the videos are done I kid you not when I finished editing so last night I had nine videos to edit and I edited them all this morning I looked on my YouTube, obviously uploaded the videos that I had done, and I had like 20 that needed thumbnails and titles and all that stuff. It needed all the YouTube side of stuff done. I kid you not, that was so fucking tedious. I only got through half of it as well, because I got sidetracked by the rallying. So, hopefully, by the end of tomorrow, I'll have all of today's stuff edited, uploaded, and sort it out for YouTube with no problems. I kid, kid you not, I've just finished doing episode 21. <laughs> Next days, I just barely started the car. Jesus Christ. I'm not gonna lie, petrol cars are so annoying compared to electric cars. Um, the only thing really is the fact that it's got a battery in it right that is built to hold a small amount of charge for like auxiliary stuff and basically just um your car's electronics right what i was edited what do you mean <laughs> yeah pretty much but um, the amount of times, when you think about it, right, If what happens when your car runs out of fuel? You're fucked, unless you get to a petrol station. So it's a pain in the ass for that. You've then also got the pain in the ass of, oh, if your battery's flat, you've got to try and jumpstart your car. That's a pain in the ass. I don't understand why people won't go to electric cars because the the idea that you have a charger at home that when you wake up your car is fully charged how many times right okay maybe for americans it might be slightly different because america's a big fucking country but how many brits actually go on a road trip that's further than 250 miles like how often does a brit go further than electric cars range nowadays. We don't. Unless you are driving to Scotland. In which case. You're probably going to stop anyways. I refuse driving a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Introducing the all new. Dyson Sportage. <laughs> Dyson, Kia's just been bought out by Dyson now. <laughs> but yeah, like, I really think... Do you know what I really think that um, car manufacturers need to... 
yeah. I think as a as a daily driver, here's the thing. I think as a daily driver car, an electric car is perfect. If you do a lot, no, Cotto. No. That video, first of all, was 40 seconds long, and it was a parody song about dicks in your ass, or something, from Frozen. <laughs> Two dicks, three dicks, <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Stupidest fucking video I've ever seen. <laughs> but yeah, like, electric cars are perfect for daily driving, like, no more than 50 miles. They are perfect for that. When it comes to, like, long distance, if you do a lot of long distance trips, sure. Petrol's the way to go. That's why I really think that Toyota needs to get their head out of their ass and stop pussyfooting around with, um... What's it called? Well, I wasn't, Cotto. <laughs> you know I wasn't. Um... What's it called? No, I was watching the rally in. That's why I was sidetracked. Um. Yeah, Toyota needs to stop pussyfooting around, get their head out of their asses, and actually start, like, trying to push for hydrogen. Because I kid you not. Hydrogen is the future of cars. It's the only way that we can have both electric. It's the only way we can have electric cars that are, you know, efficient. Yeah, hydrogen's the only way to make electric cars efficient. As efficient as possible. And also still have the combustion engine if we want that as well. And you can get the choice of either having a combustion engine or an electric engine. And they both run on hydrogen. What's not to love about that? And both of them Produce no emissions. It's crazy. Toyota has the tech. They just won't progress it. They've been sat on it for fucking years. There we go. 11 grand. Woohoo! We've got 10% discount on driveline upgrades. 10% discount on chassis reinforcement and roll cage upgrades by OMP Europe. Do 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 do. Alright, here we go, Mini Cooper! I mean, there's an easy way to create uh, hydrogen. If you put, um, shut up, Big Speed. If you take two electrical contacts, stick them in water, and then, um, no coddo. It's a recording session. You know this. Stop asking. <laughs> um, what's it called? If you stick electrical contacts, it, they have to be specific ones, but you literally just run electricity through it and it splits the uh, oxygen and the hydrogen. So if you have a renewable source of electricity, um, something, say for example, like... Um, I don't know. Wind power. Solar power. Whatever. Stick that into the water to then create hydrogen. That hydrogen can then either be ignited in an engine to create power. Or combined with oxygen again to then produce electricity. Which would then in turn... Um, 
wow, produce electricity, stick it to a motor, or it's fucking, what's it called? Electric car sound. Do, 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 do. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> that buzzing. Boom. No Kodo. <laughs> Honestly, Fortnite is the sole reason why video games nowadays are just so rubbish. It is the sole reason. Like, it's not even hard to tell. You're like, oh, Fortnite became popular in 2018. The gaming industry started going downhill in 2018, 2019, when games started coming out. A lot of the features that we hate about video games have all been implemented because of stuff that was put in Fortnite. You know. Fortnite's the reason the video game industry has gotten worse. But luckily for me, because I'm a racing game fan, it's very hard to implement shit that Fortnite has into a racing game. But somehow, Forza Horizon 5 managed to do it. Fucking weekly challenges. Dodgy multiplayer. Battle Royale game modes. Ugh. Emotes, yeah. Clothes. Cosmetics. No. Very bad. We will. You do the we. There's a moose loose about this hoose. Beep beep. I wish there was a horn button. Yeah, a lot of people are teasing that um, iPhone quite possibly may end up getting a, uh, what's it called? A foldable phone next year. I think it could work. I think a foldable is ideal for some people. But I also would not like to know how unrepairable they would deliberately make that phone. So that you have to spend 5000 on repair costs. Do you know what? I actually do trust a foldable phone a lot more now than I did when they first came out. Because um, I think it was 2019 or 2020. They announced the first Fold phone. I think it was 2019, because that was Fold 1. Then 2020 was 2. 2021 was 3. And yeah, they're on the fourth one now, which is 2022. Um, the last gen and the current gen have actually been really good. 
yeah. I mean, those are easy to trust because there's no, like, fragile parts being folded. Um, but when it comes to, like, the Galaxy Fold, especially the 3 and the 4, um, they're actually really good looking experiences. I've seen quite a few people um, that actually have them. And they do work really well. Was that thunder? I don't know. The weather's gloomy outside, I'll be honest. So, doesn't surprise me. But yeah, um, I'd love a fold-in Galaxy. I think when the Fold 5 comes out, I might buy one. Just the idea of being able to sit there and just full screen watch a movie. Though, to be fair, that doesn't really help much unless it's like a YouTube video. <coughs> An actual movie is still fairly similar to what what is at the moment. I don't know. I know for a fact I'm still wanting a Steam Deck. Big time. That thing is perfect for me. I think the best handheld device um, is probably the PS Vita. I got one over there. It's a bit bricked at the moment. <laughs> I'll be honest. I bricked my Vita because I was modding it and I did something wrong. <laughs> so I got to try and figure out how to unbrick a Vita. Um, but yeah, PS Vita was brilliant. In only 42 hours, you got to 34%. Oh, the percentage that's on my. Um, title's actually incorrect. The exact percentage of the playthrough so far is 42.72. I'll update it in a minute on the title. But yeah, 42% complete. So about a percent in an hour. But based on the fact that these later races are going to be much longer. And like events are going to be longer. I'm thinking our time is going to hit about 120 to maybe 140 hours before we're finished. Might be even more than that, maybe 160. So we got a long way to go. It will definitely be nearly an entire week of playtime. It would be very close to that. But again, I'm trying to get everything 100 percented To be able to say that I finished every falls a game. around five laps of this track it's a long race and I'm feeling good new, new. New, new.
bad. I can't tell if that's extremely heavy wind or thunder. I think it might be thunder. <laughs> bad weather! The blanket of black clouds. Black cloud hangs over me. Black cloud, you know, friend of me. I love that song. We should put it on at some point. Give it a listen on stream. I can't wait to do the um, drag racing. I think that's going to be fun. The you know, one thing I find really odd is the fact that in this game, this racetrack looks like nobody's ever gone and cleaned it. Like, there is so many tire marks on here, it's unreal. That's not even including the ones that I've left. Be a long day. just send a guy around with a scraper to just like, you know, like, like the uh, ice cream roll videos. It just, ah, oh, look, there's a brand new tire. <laughs> just scrape off an entire new set of tires straight off the track. In mansion. There we go. Saving ghost. Please don't turn off your console. Not bad. 12 grand. I will take the money. Thank you very much. Honestly, the amount of times that Ferrari absolutely cock up their race strategy this year has just been unreal. Like the first time when they proper messed it up, like really bad, was I... Was it two races before the British Grand Prix? Maybe three races, I'm not sure. Um, but when they really messed it up, I was like, huh. That's so strange. Because they had been really good at the start of the year. Absolutely fucked it up. Again, I haven't watched much of the races, but I can gather that Ferrari fucked up. Um...
I just think it's really surprising that out of... Especially, like, the last five or six races, every single one of them, Ferrari has messed up the strategy. Except for, I believe, Paul Ricard. I believe that was just... Leclerc was a shit driver that day. I honestly want to see Charles Leclerc try to move to a different team. But the problem is he's then got Red Bull, which doesn't care about their second driver. So unless your name starts with Max and ends in Verstappen, Red Bull doesn't give a shit about you. Um, and then you have Mercedes, which has... Well, I doubt they're going to get rid of Lewis Hamilton until he wins another world championship. Or until he retires. Let's be honest. And George Russell is proving to be a very good driver. So they're not going to get rid of him. So really, Charles is stuck with fucking Ferrari. Dun, dun, dun. It's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> Charles Le Chair. That's one of the best memes of Leclerc. Oh Christ, fuck. Keep moving. There you go. I mean, when you think about it, so you had Mazda spin. That was another lightning strike. Lovely. That was definitely a lightning strike that time, I could tell. So you've got Mazda spin from last season. You've got. Um. What are the other ones? My F1 meme knowledge has completely gone in the bin since I stopped watching. <laughs> I've been watching too much WRC. Like, my knowledge of F1 has just gone downhill. But then again, I don't care. Because F1 is just shite now. I'm enjoying my rallying. I'll be 100% honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And I was very excited today because Pierre-Louis Loubert got his first stage win today. And not just his first, he got two. Two stage wins today, which is crazy. For a driver that's just started out and he beat legends of the likes of Seb Loeb. He was even the lead in the rally until the final stage, I believe. And then Loeb was like, give it back. <laughs> so. <laughs> Big city life. Big city life. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. Out. Oh, that was close. I am excited for our uh, Motorsport 4. 
Not got long before we get on with that game, actually. Big city life. That's not a bad song, actually. If I'm not mistaken, it's that Aussie dude, that lewd, whatever his name is. He makes some tunes. This is an Australian bloke as well. Royalston. Makes some absolute bangers. Bangers and bangers and bangers and mash. Bangers and mash. God, I remember that song. Bangers and bangers and bangers. Mash, mash, mash. Bangers and mash, bangers and mash, bangers and mash. Is that a bus? There's a fucking tour bus. Just sat there in the um, stadium. Not bad. We got 11 grand. Oh god, I'm yawning like crazy. It's ridiculous. 10% discount on valves and displacement. Nice. I've got like a damn fucking like bite on my head and it's really fucking annoying. I got bit on the back of my leg the other day. I've been bit like right here. That's where I turn into a zombie. Brains. I, I know everyone's gonna hate this. Cause like, oh my god, how can you hate it? But uh, I, I don't like Pokemon. I can't get into it. it doesn't interest me. Just, no. I've tried many times as well. Like I've tried trying to, cause, like, everyone always rant, raves on about the Pokemon games when they come out on the Switch. And I sit there like, um. Cheers, I've got no clue what's going on. Like, it's weird. And also, my microphone keeps falling down. Can you stay there? Thank you. <laughs> I had to pause that time, because otherwise I would have done that, but probably worse. Is this thing skating on ice? That's what it feels like. What the hell? I still can't believe how successful and how unsuccessful Motorsport 4 and 7 were. Because when you look at how successful Motorsport 4 was, the fact that it sold one, uh, that it sold 500,000 copies in its first week, right? Oh my god, that's weird. It's like grey. The sky is grey outside. I'm not even joking, it's great. It's fucking bad. Last 10 years of re-releasing anime is just cash grab at this point. Yeah. It's probably the fact that it's an anime as well. Anime just doesn't intrigue me because its action is very dramatized and unrealistic to wild extremes. Like... Oh look, let me magically get an animal to appear out of a ball that I've just thrown. Or... Um... What's it called? Let me use these weapons that are so totally unrealistic and... No. It just doesn't interest me. Yeah. Original stuff's also a problem as well. Like, if there's nothing original, it's just like... Well, I've got the same thing over and over again. That's a problem. Whoa! Right, I kid you not. The past... Okay, yesterday it didn't thunderstorm and the day before. But in the past week, we've had three or four nights where it's just... 
absolutely thundered like crazy and that was mental that flash you don't normally get this much thunderstorms or this many that was far away i've just heard the thunder fucking out Don't hold me up now. I can't stand my own ground. I don't need your help now. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't really say anything on Pokemon because I really don't have a clue. And no matter what anyone says, I probably would never look into Pokemon, game, anything like that. Two days ago, I had to cover the front windshields of cars. What's that, Hans? Why'd you have to cover them? <laughs> Hold me up now. I know I keep going on about it, but I need to get a Steam Deck. Oh, hail, yeah. That shit will break your car if you don't cover your car. Ooh. Yeah, hail's the right word. Hailstorm. It's like rain, but giant ice balls. Instead of being raindrops. <laughs> Partially a Thanos. <laughs> oh. That's pretty bad. Don't hold me up. Kills me not to notice, but I'm all but just forgotten. Oh no, now son. Banana, man, 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 Come on, get around the corner. I wonder whether this game's emulatable on a Steam Deck. That'd be awesome if it was. Forza Motorsport 3 on a Steam Deck. How awesome. Not bad, we got 12 grand here. Ah. And we got 22 grand. Nice. 
Forza on Nintendo Switch. That would be awesome. God, imagine how pissed Nintendo would be. Maybe we should do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.